evening. My name is Myra Ferrer. I am your host for this evening. If any, I see Xavier U.S. co-host, Dr. Bogarty as co-host. Let me go ahead and as well assign our additional trainer as co-host. Uh, actually, only the host can do that. I believe only the host can assign additional co-hosts. But we're going to go ahead and get started, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Tonight, class is in session. If you can hear my voice, you are connected to the right place at the right time, allow yourself to be a student this evening because whatever you learn, no one else can ever take away from you. And the point of this evening and every Tuesday is to offer you training techniques and the winning, the winning steps that many of our leaders have already implemented that have gotten them to the top spots where they currently are. And this is the only industry where people will actually reach back so that their success can as well translate into what you make possible for yourself. We're gonna start off recognizing our three top 10 lists within our entire team relentless. So this is nationwide under the direction of our senior vice president, Mr. Xavier Marrero himself. But I'm starting off with tonight's top customer enrollment. So these are the agents within our organization who have actually topped the chart holding the top 10 spots for the most clients enrolled so far this month in business. Zandra Vajas holding the number one spot, Bruno Florador, Reisa Ortero, BG Quinones, Elisha Winship, Rob Santiago, Astrid Elena Felix Leiva, Anthony Kelly, Amanda Mederos, and last but not least, Melanie Mendez. So light it up in the chat, go ahead and congratulate them. That means that they're offering people access to transforming their life, hitting their goals and making it win for them. Now our top personal sales producers within our nationwide team relentless, starting off with the first spot held by Mr. Bruno Floridor, Zandra Valles, Reisa Ortero, BG Quinones, Dr. Arnold Bogarty, Anthony Kelly, Rob Santiago, Alicia Winship, Astrid Elena Felix Leiva, and Amanda Medero. So again, congratulate them. Go ahead and throw some emojis and some fire in the chat, recognizing them, recognizing them for doing huge things already in only the second week of the volume month for all of 2021. Moving right along, we're gonna highlight the top 10 recruiters so these are the agents that are actually in a position to welcome others to grow our family and help people transform their lives by granting them access to this opportunity. The number one spot held by Reisa Ortero, Rob Santiago, Austin Chabernet, Rebecca Gonzalez, Dr. Arnold Bogarty, Melanie Mendez, David Marquez, Joseph Griffin, Andra Rush, Wilfredo Roman. So again, recognizing them, I'm going to go ahead and clap. I know everybody's muted, but go ahead and light it up in the chat. That's nationwide, ladies and gentlemen. That's over four figures deep of a large family and team and relentless overall. Recognizing them for killing it, of course. We're just starting off the new year and they are blessing new people with new lives. So tonight's training is something you want to be sure you're ready for. Have a pen. It's something to take notes with. Trust and believe you're going to want to pay attention. This very first individual I actually met by way of this opportunity. But I'll tell you this. He's, in a way, my perception, somewhat of a silent killer. Because I'm not going to say he makes a whole lot of noise in the chats or anything. But trust and believe that bank account is right. As a vice president with this organization, what that means is he's been able to create a business that generates a minimum of $100,000 every 30 days of business. Not every year, every 30 days. He's a father, he's definitely a team player and a right hand man to our very own SVP, Xavier Marrero. And anyone I've ever been introduced to by way of him is someone that I just hold in high regards to. So again, let's give it up for none other than vice president, Mr. Anthony Kelly. Can you hear me? I sure can. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. Want to give it back to Myra. She always does a good time, good job hyping people up. She got me hyped on hearing about myself. So just want to give it back to her. Great job. Always, always consistent. I love it. Hey, everybody. Y'all are tuned in at a great time. We're going to go through a great training. And I actually had the honors to do this training with somebody I look up to. Miss Boss Lady, Razor, Mass Killer, shout out to y'all. So this is going to be a powerful training, guys. Let me pull up my screen. Now, while I'm getting everything up, let's see. Let me know if you can see it. Yes. Perfect. Okay, everybody. So as you see, it's overcoming objectives. So this is one thing that I do very well. And the reason being is because I come from sales. Me and Xavier, 
that's what we really strived at with sales. And that just really helped us because I have 13 years of sales experience. I didn't sold education, solar, uh, internet service, college, whatever it was, I could sell it. And to this day, they pay me top dollar to come to their company and just sell for them. So the thing about sales is that only thing changes is the product, the strategies and everything that you're going to use is always going to be the same. Now, the thing about our industry, people want to kind of steer away from the word sales. They want to say, you know, hey, I'm a credit um, expert, a credit consultant. We don't use the word credit agent no longer, but it's all these other things of what we're saying that we are, but not really want to understand that this industry that we're in is sales, it's multi-level marketing, is building a network, is getting to know people, but at the end of the day, it is sales. The great thing about the product that we're selling is it's a need, not a want. So that makes it that much easier. This is not your lotion and potions. So you actually get to stand by the product that we're selling with integrity and understand that it works and it's actually gonna help people get into a better place. So that's the beauty, because so many people think when they hear sales, they think of it real sleazy, like the car salesman or somebody selling you something that's not gonna benefit you. So you gotta first change your mindset when you even think about sales. And then you need to change your mindset when you think about the objections that you're gonna get. So a lot of y'all may be seasoned, a lot of y'all may be new. At the end of the day, still fear. The fear comes back to being told no. The fear of rejection, the fear of people not joining you, the fear of people not wanting to say yes to your business. So what you want to do is make sure, because as you grow your business or as you ran out and told your friends and family members, I'm pretty sure you got hit with the rejection rocket. Shout out to David Marquez. He does a great training on the rejection rocket. This is something that you get hit with, and it's going to tear down your morale. It's going to slow down your momentum, and it's going to make you second guess if this is the opportunity for you. But that's the thing, guys. Don't be scared of the no. The no is not a no. It's just a not right now. So understand, the more no's you get, the more successful you are in this business. You got to learn to embrace the no's. So for example, I can have somebody like, shout out to my brother, Xavier. Uh, he can you know, talk to 15 people and possibly close six of them. Now, if I wanted to close six people, I may need to talk to 25 people. But at the end of the day, I'm going through those no's and I'm actually still able to keep up with somebody like Xavier, even though he does it with a better ratio but I still get the same outcome. So what you wanna do, you wanna make sure that you're tracking your nose. Have a book of nose, cause that's gonna be the people that you're gonna follow up with. Build your pipeline and I promise you, it'll just be a not right now. Now that people have the stimulus money, now that it's New Year's and you know, New Year's, new me, people wanna go ahead and challenge, um, go ahead and focus on their credit. Those people that told you no, they will turn into a yes. Okay, so you definitely want to understand that that no is just a not right now. Don't get discouraged. Keep pushing forward. And what we have set for you with this training is rejection protection, y'all. I know this, the, the sound of it sounds crazy, but what we want to do is protect you from the projection. So the rejection is going to come. It's nothing that you're going to do regarding anything close to sales that you won't get a no or a not right now. But what we want to make sure that we do for you is we protect you to know what to do. That's one thing that made me and Xavier so great at any, uh, any job that we went to regarding sales is because we learned our product and we also prepared ourselves for the no, overcoming the objection. So that's what you wanna make sure you focus on every time you talk to somebody. I don't care if it's messaging, I don't care if it's on the phone, you're waiting for them to tell you no. Shout out to Malcolm, me and Malcolm, we had lunch today. He got me instantly on the phone with a realtor. When I got on the phone with that realtor, that realtor went from a no to a yes. And Malcolm's like, wow, how did you pivot so quick when he tried to back out? These are the things that I do to make sure that that person on the phone turns into a yes from that no. Understand, you're on the phone and you're either being sold on why they're coming into the business or you're selling them, they're going to sell you on why they're not coming into the business. But somebody on that phone got sold. So you want to make sure that you have your arsenal of protection to make sure that that person get, makes a decision and is, that decision is gonna be in your favor, okay? Now, this is some of the common objections that you're gonna go through is I don't have money right now. 
So what you want to do is just say, hey, just to clarify, the only thing holding you back from getting started right now is money. Is that correct? So you have different options of what you can do. So what I normally do with a client is I will say, hey, if I were to be able to offer a discount where I can lower the cost, would you be ready to get started today? I can't make any, any promises, but sometimes we have uh, friends and family discounts or discounts we can apply that can lower the cost. If I was able to lower the cost, would you be able to get started? And then I wait for their response. Or you can do what they call a pre-app. What a pre-app is, is where you're gonna let that client know, hey, if you're really serious about getting started, say they wanna get started next Friday when they get paid. I totally understand you wanna get started next Friday. What I can do for you is I can take down your information. It will not get ran to Friday, but by you doing, a, a, um, doing the payment arrangement today, this will save you $50. Would you like to save $50 today and do this pre-app? Nine times out of 10, if they're serious about their credit, they're going to want to save the $50. If they're just telling you that they're going to get paid Friday and they're going to do it, they may just be trying to get off the phone. Nine times out of 10, they're going to go forward. They're going to go ahead and want to set up that, that payment arrangement. Now, I need to think about it. So what you want to do is just say, hey, um, if you don't mind me asking, what has you basically not ready to make a, has you on the fence for making a definite decision today regarding making a decision today. And then you want to let them tell you what actually has them scared to move forward. And you want to sympathize with whatever they tell you. So if they tell you, hey, you know, I really don't know if I can afford the $89 per month, or I really just don't know right now if I want to start working towards my credit, you want to sympathize and then you want to recap. So what I mean by recap, whatever they told you, about wanting to be in that home, getting that car, getting that business, or whatever they told you is on their credit, you want to recap with that. Okay, you said you have repos, you said you have foreclosure, you say you want to be in a home in the next six months, you got to move out of that apartment because now you're in a two bedroom with four kids. You get to recap that and help them come to that decision quicker by going back over the information that they told you, okay? So I need to talk to my spouse. So what you want to do is say, hey, I totally understand. You want to speak with your spouse. If you don't mind me asking, do they happen to be around right now? Because you want to instantly get them to put their spouse on speakerphone so you can overcome that objection. So the, the spouse is the objection that they're using. So you want to speak to that spouse, go over the information with that spouse. But let's just say the spouse is not there. So what you want to say, hey, when does your spouse come home? When will they arrive? If they arrive around a time that is going to be our webinar, you want to get them and their spouse scheduled for the webinar, or you want to get another call set up and say, hey, I just want to explain to your spouse everything I explained to you, how we're going to help you with their, your credit. And if she has anything on her credit, we're going to be able to help her. And we may be able to even give you a discount. So these are the things that you want to tell them to get that next appointment. You're always presenting to the next exposure until you get them to the close. This is a funnel system. For y'all that don't understand what funnel system is, go ahead and look it up. So that's what you're doing. You're funneling them out to get that yes, okay? So it's too expensive. So, hey, I totally understand. If you don't mind me asking, how much did you think credit repair is gonna cost you? Because some of our posts may mislead them to say, hey, I'm blessing, I'm helping so many people with their credit that they may come across and really feel that you was gonna give it to them for free, you know? So what you wanna ask them is, how much did you think credit repair services is gonna cost you? How much did you wanna invest in your credit to get these items off? Allow them to tell you a number, and then you're going to work with that number. So you can either ask them, hey, have you shopped around? Have you really seen that, you know, some companies are actually charging between 1000 to 2000 to repair credit? Have you spoke with like Lexington Law or any other company? Because our, our price is actually one of the lowest in the business, and we give you the most services. So you want to open that conversation, and then you're going to go back to recapping and building value on our protection plan, okay? so. You may get one to where they say, hey, is this a scam? Like, is this, you know, I don't know if I want to move forward. Like, I don't know. I just met you off the internet. You know how I know you're not scamming me. You know, so you want to let them know that our company's been in business for over 16 years. We've been able to help tons of people get items deleted and moved off their credit. And we partner with one of the biggest companies in preventing fraud and identity theft. And then you want to ask them, have you ever heard of Privacy Armor? Allow them to um, tell you what they know. And then you're going to educate them after they tell you either they heard of them or they have it. And you're going to educate them on that company and say, hey, do you feel that a company like that would partner with a, a, a scam? 
You know, you want to ask them the questions. All right. Now, this one is going to be for overcoming the objections for agents. So you get an agent on the phone, you get somebody that you want in your business, and then you hear, hey, I don't have the money to get started. How many of y'all have heard that? Put a one in the chat if you hear that from an uh, agent you're trying to get in your business. Hey, I don't have the money to get started. You know, even though you probably seen them on social media with the new iPhones, some new Jordans, you know, who knows? They probably didn't bought some Super Bowl tickets. But at the same time, when they come across you on this opportunity that they wanted to move forward in, when you say 288, now, uh, I don't know. I don't really have the money to get started. Okay. So you want to, um, you know, you want to get to the root of what's really holding them back. So, hey, the only thing really holding you back today is the money. Is that correct? Because you, all of y'all should be doing great presentations at this point, or you should be peeking and passing, getting into your upline. Your upline is doing a great presentation. So if your upline is doing a great presentation, through that presentation, that person had to tell you that, you know, they want more out of life. They possibly got some things on their credit that they need off. I call it the two yeses. If you tell me you got bad credit and you tell me that you want more money, by the time we get to the end of the conversation and I had you say yes so many times, if you even try to tell me no, Xavier tell you, you won't answer the phone for me again because I'm going to rebuttal you until you you just like, no, nah, I'm not going to pick up the phone for him. So you want to sympathize like, hey, I totally understand you don't have the money. And then you want to recap on everything that they told you. So, hey, you told me that you hate your job. You can't even be a father to your children because you work so much. That you're paycheck to paycheck and you're looking for opportunity to have a business, to get from what you're going through. So you're going to recap and you're going to let them know like, hey, these are all the reasons why you need to get started, you know? But you got to understand the personality type that you're dealing with. You got to understand what you can say to that person without making them feel offended. Now, if you got a dominant person, a person like me, to where I can take it and it's not going to bother me, you can even say, hey, let me ask you, if you had, if you was, if you got in trouble right now and it cost you 288 to get out of whatever situation you was in, what would you do? And then I'll be like, hey, I'm going to call my mom, I'm going to call my cousin or whatever. And they'll say, hey, well, I think you need to call them because right now you're in financial help and they need to help you get to a better place in your finance. You know, or hey, do you have Amscot? Go to your nearest Amscot, take out a payday cash advance and let's run it. Let's get this business up and running. So you're able to see how serious they are right then and there. No excuses. Let's figure it out, you know. Because somebody that's serious, they'll start pining stuff if they knew how much money people are making and how life-changing our company is. So you may hear somebody say, hey, I don't like sales. You know, I don't, I don't really do well with sales. They, and you want to let them know the great thing about our company is you don't have to sell this. All you have to do is refer it. Our product sells itself. You don't go have to chase people to want to fix their credit. They want to fix their credit. Then you're going to ask them, how many people do you think you may know with less than perfect credit? You may get somebody say, oh, I don't get into their personal lives. I don't know. Like, but I promise you, you probably know you got friends and family members that can't apply for a house or they can't get the car that they want. Those are people that you can refer to the service. You don't have to sell it. All you're doing to do is refer it. The other thing you may hear is I don't have time. So the great thing you're going to let them know is, hey, we don't actually need your time because the hard part is already done for you. Our our company is going to prepare the letters. You're not sitting home licking stamps. The hard part is done for you. All you need to do is have the time to refer. How much time do you think you have to be able to just tell people about the company? And then if they if they come back with any objection, you want to let them know, hey, you got a job, right? You work. So you work around people. You got neighbors, right? So you live around people. So you constantly come around people that you can actually refer your service to. So just overcome that objective. Now, the other thing is you may get left on red. How many people send messages out and they don't get a message back? They just basically ghost you. So when I was preparing this training, I actually wanted to, I was working a business. And as you work the business, you're going to get left on red. So these are some of the conversations where they left me on red today. And so you can actually do it the way you change the theme. So change the color of the theme will instantly put your message back to the top. So they'll see it and they see a different color like, what happened? Because sometimes they forgot to reply back to you. How many of us have forgot, forgot to reply back to somebody on, um, on Messenger? Okay. Now, the other thing is you can send, um, did I lose you? 
So as you see, if you read through one of these, I don't know which one it was. It was basically, I did, did I lose you? And she was at work. So she forgot. She forgot to reply back. So did I lose you? Got the conversation back up and running. Or you can actually, you can actually um, do a funny, a funny gif. And so this one I did of the guy crying and I said, hey, I noticed you seen, you seen my message, but you didn't reply back. <laughs> Make me feel sad. Like, yo, you didn't, you just gonna ghost me? And then that got her back engaged to me to be able to start getting her to try to get her enrolled. Now, the other thing, shout out to Bruno. Bruno taught me this method is where you wanna just reach back and follow up with client testimony, testimony videos, testimony increases. Like, hey, look, Daryl just got 30 points on his credit. The company is really working. I know you was thinking about fixing your credit. If you haven't fixed it already, you know, I just wanted to let you know, I'm still here to help you when you're ready. So that's the more, you know, laid back approach to just let them know, hey, I'm still here. And you're showing that the company's working. These, these ways of uh, doing this online will definitely get those people to reach back to you. Because I promise you, I did both of them just a couple of hours ago. They really do work. Okay. Now, more than anything, you just want to focus on overcoming the objection. The objection is going to come. But what are you going to do to make sure that you overcome it to get to that end result of that yes? That's what you mainly need to be focused on, guys. So I just wanted to share that with you. I hope you took notes because I promise you, this is one way to make sure you take your business to the next level. But stay tuned to this next part because Boss Lady is really getting ready to close it strong and let you know how to make sure you rebuttal those professionals. Oh man, I'm over here cracking up. I don't know if Myra's supposed to come back or not. Myra's Honestly, always I supposed to come back. <laughs> there we go. Nah, I think, well, Anthony, of course, thank you so much for that share, taking notes as well. I love how you said, you know, you highlight that the no's for, uh, might not necessarily mean no forever. It might not be no right now. You know, fun, quick fact, I actually said no to Xavier more than once, but here I am plugged in because when the time was right, the time was right. And that's what it was. So Myra, you said no to me too. That. <laughs> said no to me too. I did. Me. I certainly did. I certainly did. Um, but you know, of course, I'll tell you, I really like how you asked, how you put the question to ask these potentials. I mean, how much did you think legal credit repair was going to cost you, right? Put that back in their hands. Definitely a good, good question to ask. And of course, you went ahead and started with the introduction to our very next trainer for tonight. But thank you, always bringing it. Anthony, I appreciate you. I know thank you on behalf of the entire team for a phenomenal training and just giving us those examples and reminding everybody that it's a numbers game. It's just a matter of how quickly you go through people. People are going to decide based on what they see for themselves as possible. And when their time is right, it's their time. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. We're professional decision collectors, regardless of whatever decision it is. Xavier sure certainly was not going to stop with my no, neither were you. Here we are anyhow, right? So again, keep pushing, keep asking, and keep following up correctly. Now, moving on to our very second trainer for this evening. Uh, it's definitely a privilege to go ahead and introduce this individual. So for anyone on this team training tonight that might wonder, do I got what it takes? Like, did I need any prerequisites? Was there a requirement or a career path that was going to put me in the right spot to do the right thing with this opportunity? This is a, a prime example of how that is not the case. Really, the requirement is not only your very first initial decision to go ahead and lock in, it's being coachable, being willing to follow what's there and plugging into a system that is already working hands down. We're blessed with what this opportunity has meant for us. And in particular, this young lady can speak on not having any experience in this industry before, but coming in this, killing the game topping the charts consistently week after week, making it big and even with those recognitions company-wide across the entire nation, not only within our team Relentless, she's a regional vice president. So what that means is that she's created an organization generating minimum of $250,000 every 30 days in business volume, okay? 250 thousand. She's also a level one R and R club member. So she has a beautiful company paid for Mercedes Benz. Um, you know, of course we know her as Raisa Ortero RVP, but she's definitely the R and R when it comes to her and her significant other, but she's a trainer, a leader's leader pouring back into the entire team. I know I heard her already, but definitely wanted to give her the acknowledgement in her introduction. Raisa, can you hear me? 
Yes, ma'am. How are you guys? Thank you so much, yes. Myra. I'm like, who's she talking about, right? Thank you so much for that introduction. I appreciate you always hosting these calls and pouring into us. Um, uh, they always say there's just somebody on the team that has to hold that down. And it's just you. I appreciate that. And I took a lot of notes, a lot of notes. I actually like the, you have to peek and pass. I like that. Peeking and passing. If y'all not peeking and passing. So guys, I took a lot of notes on that. Um, and then the other thing that I took a note on that Anthony uh, was that actually able to bring to light is if <laughs> the whole Am Scott thing was was really funny. Um, and then, uh, but what was, what was uh, more impactful for me is like, think about it. Our business is doing business with other companies. We have combined 13, 14 services. So we're partnered up with Allstate. We're partnered up with First Progress. We're partnered up with Credit My Rent. Would these companies actually attach themselves to something that is a scam or a pyramid? And I think that's important to really think about when you're actually looking at all these individual services and the people that actually partnered up with. So thank you so much for that, guys. I appreciate it. Um, I think what I'm, I'm gonna actually do right now is I'm gonna actually uh, share my screen really quick. See if you guys can see this. Uh, and I'm actually just going to really reiterate, I guess, uh, what I'm doing is overcoming objections. Um, and what I've learned just based on my career is, uh, for me, it comes more from a, from a, I call it the felt found, right, um, place where it's like where I was at when I got started. So if you, if you just dig into that as well, think about, think about how many times did, did anyone here, you know, type of one in the chat, if you didn't get started the first time you got introduced to this. The first time, like the first presentation, the first call, it took you weeks, months, a year, two years to get started. So uh, one of the major things he said was, it's not a no, it's a not right now. And so again, if you could just uh, detach yourself from those emotions, I think it would help you really go out there and build the business. Um, and one of the things that I, that I took away from even GoPro was, I just picture myself driving the bus, you know, like I, I say this all the time, even on, on my webinars, I just picture myself driving the bus. I'm opening the door. There's a lot of success on the bus, right? There's everybody in the bus. Everybody in the bus is happy, but you have to take that. I don't have control whether you get on the bus or not. I'm just driving it and opening the door. You, the people have the control whether they take that. So you can't actually attach yourself to the emotion of taking action for them. So that's one of the things that I actually learned. So just recapping, uh, I guess what I'm coming in to recap is how do you convert? So we're going to talk about how do you convert clients to agents? I think that a lot of times we have people that just go into a client, client run. And so how do we actually overcome the objection of, you know, I'm not good at sales? Because that's the first thing they'll tell you. No, I just want to be a client. I see what you do, but I, I you know, I'm just not like you. Um, and so obviously he talked, uh, Anthony talked about, I don't have the money. And one of the things I like to say when they say, I don't have the money in, in the agent regard or the client regard is I like to tell a story of someone that didn't have the money. As you guys know, that was me. <laughs> I left a dollar seven in my bank account. And so one of the things that I always do is collect stories, guys. That's why it's important to be on every webinar. That's why it's important to be on Millionaire Mindset when you hear testimonies. That's why it's important to be on the Wealthy Woman Wednesday. It's important to be on those calls because I've literally just collected stories. Uh, for instance, in this case, think about someone that said they didn't have the money. You know, we can pretty much go, go over with my story or, you, you know, <laughs> Executive Vice President David Marquez. I believe he had, he actually went out and, and actually sold some of his DJ equipment to get started. And so this is something where you want to tell a story. Reminds me of a friend of mine who didn't have the money either, but he realized that, you know, this was an amazing opportunity and he looked around and had some DJ equipment and sold it and got started. So kind of like telling a story like that, or our regional vice president literally left a dollar seven in her bank account. Sometimes we just have to meet people where they are. And I think that's one of the things that is really valuable is that you really want to tell a story and be a story collector. Does that make sense? Type of one in the chat if that makes sense, guys. So you want to collect Myra's story, Anthony Kelly's story, BG's story, Xavier's story. If someone tells you, you know, that they were homeless, if they tell you, you know, I, I was broken, any like that, you have to collect those stories 
And I'll actually be able to give an example of that later on today. So that's been one of the strategies. I really operate from a, a feel felt found. Uh, that's pretty much like the kind of objection that I go to. I say, look, I know how you feel. I felt the same way. You know, I, I felt the exact same way. I remember being very broke. I was in the same situation, but here's what I realized. I realized that's the biggest reason why I need to do this because I don't have the money. And because I didn't want to be stuck a year or two from now, not having the money. This one right here, um, if you guys could take a screenshot of it, I, this is what I use all the time when they tell me they don't have money. And obviously I just kind of tweaked it a little bit, uh, but it does help me because they kind of like, oh, well, she, you know, was in the same situation and, and, and it kind of gets them to open up a little bit more as to what the real problem is. And so it allows me to actually get, get into, uh, get into what the actual root cause of the problem is. Um, have you guys heard, I failed an MLM before. So you may be talking to people who've done network marketing, business professionals, um, and they may say, you know, I failed at this before, you know, and this is when confidence kind of has to kick in too. it confidence posture. Um, I understand that, but you didn't do it with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of how I do it. And then, um, here's what I know is true. You know, you're ambitious. I I've seen on your page, you have the potential. Um, and maybe if you're, if you're coachable and teachable, maybe if you lock arms with me, you know, I won't let you fail. And so, because a lot of people out there, um, in the MLM industry, I I've learned this from the MLM experts, such as Arnold and, and David is that, you know, people out there, the, the expectations were set wrong when they went into those companies. And so we've learned to actually set the expectations properly, uh, within our businesses. But of course uh, we can't talk about other MLM companies. Um, but that's one thing that I would say. Another thing that I would say <laughs> is, um, so for instance, this is a good one. Um, and it just comes from a knowledge base. You know, do you know uh, the Tom Watson clothes? Uh, so it talks about, listen, if you want to greatly increase your chances of success, you have to increase your rate of failure, right? So you can't be afraid of failing. If you want to succeed because of the fact that you failed in the past and you're going to try again, you're more likely to succeed if you just continue to fail more versus not trying at all. So it's, it's another thing like that where you got to actually get into the MLM conversation because I think that a lot of people do, I think most people have had some kind of touch when it comes to MLM. Um, and that's what I've ran into recently. And they're kind of skeptical in, in getting into something else, exposing their network. Um, but it's almost like if you didn't succeed there, doesn't mean you're not going to succeed here. And another thing that I like on that one is kind of like you ever went to a restaurant and the food wasn't good. So you'll go to Applebee's down the street. Food wasn't that great, but you'll go back to Applebee's. <laughs> it doesn't mean you're not going to go back to Applebee's, you know? So that's kind of uh, one of the things that I talk about. Um, how many people have gotten, uh, this is a pyramid. Is this, or is this a pyramid? Uh, I know have, type of one in the chat. Type of one in the chat if you've gotten that. It's a pyramid. Yeah, me too. I got that a lot <laughs> when I got started. Um, and again, I go with the feel felt found, Hey, here's what I feel. I, I you know, I, I feel that way. I felt the same way when I first got started, I was very skeptical. I was a little weirded out. I didn't know if I wanted to be involved in something like this, but I realized it's a massive profession now that I'm in it. Most people in this day and age understand that it's very legitimate form of business. There's books written about network marketing. There's college courses on it and it's really the wave of the future. I love this one because you feel, you, you, you talk to them and then you're actually able to come into that place where, hey, now that I'm in it, it's a whole different world for me because who feels like that, right? Who feels like that, right? Hands up if you feel like that because I know I didn't know anything about network marketing and I was skeptical as well. Uh, but now I love it. Like, I'm like, everybody needs to be in network marketing and and uh, being on Grant Cardone's session yesterday, it was very uh, eye-opener that, he said, you know, if I was, if I were to go back in my twenties, I would be in a network marketing company um, because of, uh, of what he's seen and grow, seen growing this company. So um, again, just seeing that and, and hearing that from him, it's just a big eye opener that we are on the right track with this industry. So how do you get and overcome business professional objections? 
So how many times do you have realtors that tell you, I'm too busy building real estate or I'm too busy with solar, right? You get all these people that have access to people with back credit, but they're like, I can't get into this. It's just way too much time consuming for me. So how do you actually overcome that? Now you have to think about, um, and I'm glad I actually was on that training yesterday because Grant Cardone really talked about a lot of this, but um, one of the things that he taught me was having access to us means that they have access to our network. Now understand how powerful your network is. You're probably thinking just organization wide, like downline. No, you got to think upline. Like you would have access to a, a company that has 60,000 agents. Like literally you would have access to the entire FES organization. So any smart business professional would want access to your network. So for me, it's more like, look, I have five, 1500 agents on my team, but if you don't have that many agents on your team, that's okay. It's still a matter of who you're connected to and how many FES agents there is in our company where you can now say, well, our, our network will, you lock arms with me, our net, you'll have access to our network. You'll be able to come to our company a convention and get to be exposed to 30,000 people. And one of the things he said was, you know, there could be, let's say a dentist, a chiropractor, right? But the dentist was funny because he said, everybody you have access to has teeth. So he's like, wouldn't you want access to more people? Um, and I, I really, really resonated with that because it really showed me business professionals also need network marketing because they need access to a bigger network to be able to grow their business. Um, they can benefit from our network and access to our company over 60,000 agents. No matter what profession you're in, all you want is network connections and ac access. Value of our services. Uh, so Anthony Kelly explained that perfectly. There's literally no other company that compares to what we offer at the price that we offer. We've done the homework. All right, hands up, Kelly, right? We've done the homework. We've looked at the Lexington laws, the creditrepair.com. We've seen the ones on Instagram, 2,500, 1,000. We've seen that stuff. And, and for literally one or two services. So when you talk about the value of our protection plan is so great that with business professionals, they would have to acknowledge that, right? But you have to present it uh, the right way. So again, peaking and passing peaking and passing to your mentor so we can actually build that value. And then extra passive income. Who doesn't want extra passive income? All you gotta do is give me access to your network. You'll start getting extra paychecks in your bank account. Like who, so, so again, that's one of the things It's literally a, a way, an, an additional stream of income for them. Additional tax benefits, uh, having a home-based business adds a lot of value, you know, they may be doing good with money in their real estate, but they may need to write off more things, you know, so, so they can actually use this as an additional tax benefit and time. So they talk about time, but honestly, what Anthony Kelly said is they don't do any of the paperwork. They literally just refer people. So once we express to them, look, we have a customer support center. We have an agent support. We already have a farm system. We have the blueprint. You bring the agents in, we'll train them. No problem. We just need access to your network. You bring the clients in. No problem. Our customer support center is going to make sure that they're taken care of. And so when you're talking to business professionals and you run into timing and, and all these other things, those are the kind of things that you want to actually talk about. Now, one thing that you want to do, if you have Wordboard, obviously iPhone users, right? <laughs> um, I don't think this is, I think there's a, if, if there's another version, put it in the chat um, of Wordboard, but for iPhone users, Save these scripts, okay? Create a folder in your word board for objections because you're gonna get them, okay? When they tell you they don't have money, put, put so for instance, I'm, I wish I could show you guys, but in my objections folder, I have one that says no money. I have one that says not good at sales. And I don't know if she's on tonight. Let me see if she's on tonight. Rena Gomez. I remember she is on tonight. Hey, Rena. I remember having a conversation with Rena. And I remember her telling me, I am not good at sales. I am not good at sales. So I, I'm never going to do what you do. I appreciate, I remember her rejecting me. She turned me down. Okay. And I remember telling her and just doing a voice note with her and telling her girl, me either. I wasn't good at sales. I learned it. I didn't know what I was doing when I came into this. I learned. 
but look at where we are today. Look at what I've been able to accomplish. Today, Rena is a field trainer and actually hit her first five. And when she did that, I said, remember when you told me you couldn't do it? <laughs> so shout out to her guys. And that just proves that let's say I didn't overcome the objection and I would have said to her, all right, uh, you know, forget you, deleted her, had the emo emotional reaction that most people will have, delete her, oh, she don't want it, da, da, da. When in fact, it was something that she definitely needs as, as a mom. And so I just kind of tied the emotion, feel, felt, found. Also told her, look, I wasn't good at this, but if you lock arms with me, I promise you, you're gonna have success. Set, I set the expectation. If you wanna have success, you have to be on training. And that's why she's on training today. So congratulations. So guys, again, thank you so much for allowing me to be able to bring value to you guys on just strategies that I've learned as I grow in this business. And trust me, start using this and you guys are going to see a lot of success going forward. So thank you so much for letting us love y'all. Thank you so very much, Raisa, for that amazing share. Always dropping nuggets, always schooling, always teaching. We appreciate you. And definitely your success speaks all the volume that anybody could add to whatever you've got going on. So again, congrats to your continued achievements. Now, moving right along, I'm going to actually highlight who it is that actually created this movement for us, the person that we can truly thank day in and day out, because when it was his time to get started with this. None of what you all see available to you, none of these tools, none of the support, none of these resources were even around. And it's thanks to his relentless pursuit of what he felt was a calling in his heart and his determination to make a lot of big things happen, not only for himself and his immediate family, but pretty much anyone that he's ever been able to bless and introduce with this opportunity. You know, we really have to give it up to our senior vice president, Mr. Xavier Marrero, I know I heard you earlier today, but we're going to go ahead and be all ears for you with our night tonight, Tuesday Team Relentless. And of course, continuing to thank you for all that you've done to make this possible. So Xavier, again, can you hear me? Yes, Mark, can you hear me? You got it loud and clear. Perfect, perfect. Wow, guys, look, Team Relentless, I want to say I'm very proud of every single person that's still on this training. I have to say, I was still even taking some notes. I'm on my phone like this while I'm listening, because again, I'm forever a student. And this is the reason why we're seeing the success that we're seeing. So Myra, first of all, I want to always thank you. Always super committed, not only to the English market, but to the Spanish market. And I think a lot of people don't know that and they don't see that because they're not plugged into two or both of them. So again, thank you so much for your hard work while you're still running your organization, your team, your business, a mother and everything else in between. So thank you so much. And then my brother from another mother, Mr. Anthony Kelly, Money Ant, right? Our vice president doing over a hundred thousand in business, had the pres had the privilege to be with him yesterday, just game planning, talking about what can we do and help the team even more. So again, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your amazing training. You know, I was just in that home office that you're sitting in right now yesterday, and we were just going back and forth, you know, just making calls, almost like a competition. And this is what I love about this company, that you work with the people you really want to work with, right? So when someone's telling you no, it's not no, it's that they don't know enough, right? So just keep that in mind. And then, of course, you know, another, another one of my sisters, you know, the queen herself, Reza Otero, you know, we just always, always coming together. Plan, game planning, making big things happen. And I have to say, amazing, amazing training. So what I want to do, guys, is I want to give you guys a round of applause because it was up to you to make it on tonight's training. And it was up to you to sit here and take notes and actually not just gain the knowledge, but go out there and actually go and make it happen, right? So I also want to give a special shout out to the leadership team. So for all the vice presidents and above, go ahead and type in VP and on the chat, you know, because again, if it wasn't for you guys, the next thing I'm gonna talk about would not even be happening. And I remember two, maybe almost three years ago, I sat down with Dr. Arnold Brogerty, Rob Reza, David Marquez, uh, Mr. Anthony Kelly, and even Viji Quinones. And we said, hey, what can we do? How can we not only thank 
our team for what they're doing, but how can we motivate them? How can we create more momentum? And you know, David Marquez, one of our executive vice president, who's doing over a half a million dollars in business every month, say, Xavier, I think I have the keys. And of course, Dr. Arnold said, you know what? This is exactly what we need. And you know, he just went in there and just laid it out for us. So we started doing these contests. Then in these contests, we started talking about how we get people to pre-qualify, to then qualify, to then give them the grand prize. So today is the day that we choose not one, not two, but three winners, right? And I have to say, if it wasn't for these VPs and above, this wouldn't happen because every single one of these individuals have invested money to actually take the time to donate and make this happen, right? So what I want to do is anybody that have five enrollments from the time frame of, and let me look at the calendar so I can make sure we got these dates correctly. And David Marquez, help me out here. What was the week? It was January. It was the 10th. Um, I think through the 16th. Through the 16th. Yep. Yes, sir. Perfect. So for every single agent that not only pre-qualified, not only made it to the three enrollments that had an amazing training by a gentleman named Jeff, who's doing over $40 million. Guys, over $40 million in this industry. How would what first of all, what would that do for you? What would do what would that do for your team? What would that do for your family, your community, the, the city, the state that you represent, and even the country, right? So that's huge right there. So shout out again to David Marquez for putting that together for us. That was huge because I have to say the individuals that were on there, including myself, man, there was so many golden nuggets taken and so much knowledge and wisdom about the actual industry, about the team, about just how to take this to the next level. And guys, this is why these contests are so serious and you want to put in the work. The company's already going to pay you for the work, but now you're double dipping by being trained by one of the best in the industry where to the point that if you guys know this industry, Everett Worry, the god of this industry, actually uses the exact same individual we're talking about to train everyone across the world. People not pay hundreds, but thousands, tens of thousands to hear this man speak. And David Marquez, our executive vice president, was able to get him just to train Team Relentless for these individuals that got three enrollments. Guys, next time you can't afford to miss out on this. So I want to put a number, I want everybody to put a number one if they're going to be committed to the next contest. Because us as leaders, we have to know is it worth the time? Is it worth the money? Is it worth the connections for us to do this again? Right? So we want to see how many people are going to be committed because I'll be honest with you. I want to see more people win. I want to be honest with you when leadership, when we speak, which we do it every single morning at, or I'm sorry, every single Monday morning at 10 o'clock, the conversations are always, how do we get more people to win? It's never about how do I get to the next title? It's always, how do we get more people to win? And we was able to put this together. So for any individual that got the five enrollments with that time frame, I want you to go ahead and just type a number five, right? Because what I want our executive sales director, Myra, to do is go ahead and start putting these names on the actual will of names, because we're going to pick top three top winners right now. And this is how it's going to work out. The first pick is going to be third prize. That's going to be a hundred dollars cash which you guys will receive it within the next week because infinity bonus hits like two days from now, right? And then we're also gonna give you a GoPro ticket for this year. Guys, that GoPro ticket, if you guys don't remember when Rob Santago, one of our vice president doing over a hundred thousand dollars in business every single month went there, we didn't know what happened. It's like the Holy Ghost hit him. He came back on fire to the point where our other vice president, Bruno, said, you know what? I have to come to your house. Whatever energy you have, I need that energy in me. And before you know it, these numbers are skyrocketing because they attended this training. So we feel it's only right for us to make sure you guys are continuing to win. We have to plug you into the right training. So third prize is going to get one GoPro tickets. So congratulations to that third prize once we choose them. Second prize, they're going to get $300 cash, right? Now we're talking about some money. Now we're talking about making it rain. No, not at that type of club, 
but making it rain into your business, into your family, into yourself. Go ahead to get, go get some stocks. Go put the money away. Make that money grow for you. Invest it in yourself. Invest it in your team. Because that's what smart people do. And also the wealthy. And then we're also giving them three GoPro tickets. So what does that mean? They get one for themselves. And now they get to choose two members from their team, their organization to actually come in. And someone says, well, Xavier, I'm a brand new agent. I don't even have any agents. Then that's okay. Because what we have learned is that you can leverage those two tickets. If you were to enroll right now, I'll give you a GoPro ticket, which is the best of the best training in this entire industry. And then first prize, man, we're talking about some serious money. We're going to give away what the average American work, oh, average American worker makes in one week, working 40 hours a week. And we're going to give that individual $500 cash. We're also going to give them five GoPro tickets. Same situation. Now you go ahead and take yourself to the training and four individuals. And even if you don't have four agents or four team members, it doesn't matter because this is going to be towards the end of the year. It gives you enough time to leverage those four tickets, especially if you're going to speak to someone that's already in the same industry. They're going to understand the power because while they're enrolling and investing $288, you're basically giving them that right back with that GoPro ticket a hundred folds. It's crazy how it works. So I don't know about you guys. Let me see a little bit of excitement, right? About these individuals that actually took the time to win the contest. Some of these people were brand new agents. We had one of David Marquez's agent named Jeremy who came in and on the first week had five enrollments. So it doesn't matter. You don't have to be a razor. You don't have to always be in the top charts for the whole entire year. You don't have to be a VG Quinones who's also on the top charts every single year. You don't have to be a David Marquez. You don't have to be an Arnold, an Anthony Kelly, right? You don't have to be a Rob. You don't have to be a Bruno who's constantly up there as well. And you don't need to be an ex. You can be a brand new agent and you had the exact same opportunity that all these individuals had. And I'm be honest with you, I even kicked them out the contest. They were mad. They say, hold on, Nick Saber. I'm taking the time and money, and I don't even have the chance to win that for my own organization. Well, you do, they do, but not yourself, right? Look, Razor's like, Saber, you're always doing that to us. Why? Because the conversation is, how can they win, not us? See, we're smart enough to understand if we invest in you, not only you and your family win, but we're going to continue to win regardless. And that's the mindset you need to have for you and your team. It's never about yourself, right? And again, Dr. Arnold Bogarty would tell you, if you focus on making sure everybody gets what they want, by default, you will always get what you want. So don't be selfish. Stay humble, help others, and I promise you, I promise you he will always deliver. All right, so let's get excited, right? Can we get some names put up? I want to go ahead. Yes. And hey, listen, not yeah. to cut you off, Xavier, by the way, Somebody mentioned it in the chat. I'm over here typing, putting the names in the wheel of names. But if your name is iPhone user, I can't help you, homie. Please state your name in there. That was my name. To be clear. Um, so everybody else except Rob. But <laughs> so look, agree, just, Rob, that, that was my name too. No, no. <laughs> look, any of the vice presidents, which vice I president of Buffalo speaking right now, do not count. So if, if they were iPhone, which they're not, because we can look at the screen. I'm switching. Yeah, I'm changing my name. Right, right. So just so you know, real quick, I have Saley Alvarez, Amy Sestri, Ines Sandra Vajas, Kevin Collins, Yvonne, not sure what your last name is. There's more than one in Team Relentless. Jasmine Williams, Lavina Douglas Woodrose, Amanda Medeiros, and Tay Lativia Burnett. So who else am I missing? I know there have to be more individuals than that. Yvonne Rivera, thank you for confirming. Who else? Jeremy Rogers. Hey, Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy, I have to say I'm very proud of that individual, man. Yes. Jasmine Malik. And while you're saying some of these names, I want to give a special shout out to Team Relentless because right now we own 30% of the top 25 in recruitment. Guys, 30% of the top 25 when there's 60,000 agents I have to say we're doing something right. I have to say we're leading by example, right? We have Razor number six. We have Rob number seven, 
right? We have David Marquez in there. We have Arno, right? We have Bruno. Who else am I missing for the top recruiting? Who else? I know. Let's forget about X right now, right? Let's forget about X, right? Now, when we talk about the top producing, we have Miss VG Quinones. We have Bruno in there again, right? Uh, we have Reza in there. Guys, that is huge. And these are the top producing leaders. So again, special shout out to the leadership squad because it's not that they're coming in here and claiming that they're leaders. They never say that they're leaders. Their action speaks for themselves. Just like you as a business owner, don't say that you're a business owner. Let the business speak for itself, all right? So Mar, go ahead and continue because I'm super excited about picking these three top winners. And man, I can't wait till I see what's gonna come out of this. All right, so, you know, actually I'm a bit surprised. So anybody can definitely go ahead and correct me. And I see 12 entries. So Celi Alvarez, Amy Sestri, Inez Andre Valles, Kevin Collins, Yvonne Rivera, Jasmine Williams, Lavina Douglas Woodrose, Amanda Mederos, Latavia Burnett, Jeremy Rogers, Jasmine Malik, Elena Felix, and is it, let's see, Elena Felix, I got you, Joe Griffin, okay. And Jackie Garcia, Jasmine Williams. Thank you, thank you. And uh, Jasmine Williams, I do have her. What about now, Inez? Inez, Inez, yeah, Inez is in there. Perfect. Uh, Omaira Rosado. And then I think Joe, Chris, Jojo, didn't you get the five within that time frame? I know one week you was killing it with customers and agents. So again, oh, Natasha, Natasha Diaz. Okay. We appreciate your oh, honesty, right? Being ethical. That's great. <laughs> yes. Yes. Erica. I have um ooh. which Erica? Uh Inez, what's your Erica's last name? Why they do that? I just wanted to I calculated it. First place is basically getting over twelve hundred dollars. It's crazy. You Second place is getting Inez? over seven hundred. And forty-one dollars, and then of course uh, third place is two hundred and forty-seven because those tickets are one forty-seven right now. And, and check this out, Dave, and correct me if I'm wrong because you know you've been in this industry a lot longer. That's just what financially we're putting out. How much more money are they gonna make? Man, like like everybody that was on last year, it was like close to. I mean, it's it, the the value of it. I think each ticket was like eight hundred. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. It was. Yeah. The the value is is up there. I mean, we talking tens of thousands of dollars on on just the the GoPro ticket itself. And so, then let me ask you, David. Yeah. The the training that we're doing right now with Eric Worry, um, which Arnold, myself, Reza, um, who else? Who else was on there? I think Natalie, how much did we pay for that training? Well, that, that was 10 grand. $10,000. $10,000. Now look, a lot of people probably like, oh my God, why? How can you spend 10 grand? I mean, is there a price when you feed the goose that produces the golden eggs, right? And that's really what it's about. You know, um, uh, Grant Cardone said it yesterday. He's like 10,000 next year. We're going to figure out how we can, you know, spend 80,000 on training, right? A hundred thousand on training. And that's what it's about. You know, you feed the goose, you get the golden eggs and so you guys, can do that. Yep. These trainers are very powerful to the point that we understand. And we have individually spent five figures for additional training off of the training that we're going to give to you guys completely free today. That's how powerful this is. Not including the training that Jeff did that is has done $40 million in this industry. Man, he was talking about that training that he paid Ray Higdon to fly down uh, in my in Florida. And uh, I don't know if, if Jeremy, you you were there and you re reiterated it to me. How much was it that he spent 80 grand or some 
some ridiculous number like that, 80 grand. But he talked like it was like he was like buying a Twix at the gas station. And like, I remember it, it was about 35,000 just for social media training. That was just a social media part of it. Right, right. 85 grand for Tony Robbins and 35,000 for the social media training. Over a hundred grand this man paid in one year. But that's why he made over $40 million in 40 years and why he has multiple properties and one of them sells for like 5,000 for a week in Tennessee. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right, Mark. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, right now, the final count that I have for those on the in the wheel of names is 17. Okay, I'm gonna read over the list one more time then I think, you know, we're gonna go ahead and just respect everyone's time. It is 11 p.m., but starting off again with Saley Alvarez, AKA Gigi, Ines, Zandra Valles, Kevin Collins, Yvonne Rivera, Jasmine Williams, Lavina Douglas Woodrose, Amanda Mederos, Latavia Burnett, Ele uh, Jeremy Rogers, Elena Felix, Joe Griffin, Jackie Garcia, Omira Rosado, Natasha Diaz, Erica Gonzalez, Chris Bariner, and Melanie Mendez. And, oh, no, there's actually uh, and a deletion. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Okay, we are at 16. 16, I think going once, going twice. And I mean, for the fun of it, if you want, I could go ahead and share my screen if everybody wants to see it for transparency. Let's so do go it. ahead and share the screen. Hey, and X, while she's doing that, I remember, like, I hear you guys talking. You're talking about $10,000 spending for training. I mean, you think about what David said. I remember what his wife told him. And I think I was sitting at their house. And, you know, I think she used to work for a doctor, an OBGYN or, or something like that. So I just looked at this. The average, the average OBGYN spends $297,000 to go to college. $297,000 to go to college, right? $297,000. The average OBGYN right now starting out makes $96,000. So if you think about what we're talking about right now, you're going to spend $300,000. People see it's, it's all about tricking the idiot upstairs. We got to change our mindset. Why is, why are we so willing to spend a hundred thousand dollars to go to college when we're not guaranteed shit when we get out? Mm. All right. But we won't spend $10,000 to get trained. Where in this industry, three years later, you could be a David Marquez making over $300,000 a year. Thanks. I, I mean, Guys, I mean, think about it. You say we're spending ten thousand dollars. You're going to spend that on one class in college, and you're going to be happy to do it. Why? Because you say you got a degree that's going to make you forty k a year. I mean, I don't get it. You know, guys, we have to stop and change our thinking about this. Ten thousand dollars for a year to be trained by the best. If you could spend ten thousand dollars a year to get to trained by LeBron James twice a week, if you're a basketball player, how fast would you spend that? Oh, hard think about it how fast would you spend that i mean it's crazy but you know we're talking i i don't know maybe i'm just i just think no no you know, it, it's walking. cool because see what it is arno you got in your emotions because you understand the value and sometimes we get upset at the agents and we're like guys the reason why we got here is because we invested and honestly that trainer was thirty four thousand. they gave us a discount so again, even yeah, if it was twenty four thousand, right. that's what we'd have paid, because it's going to make us three hundred thousand plus this year alone. So again, thank you for that. Let's get this rolling. Go ahead, Meyer. Let's go ahead and choose third prize winner right now. Spin that wheel. Uh, Yvonne Rivera, congratulations. All right, all right. Go ahead, Yvonne write that Rivera, down. congratulations. Are you still connected? Go ahead and light it up in the chat. We just yes. want to know you're still here. You congratulations, you Yvonne. Got seconds. You got 30 seconds to play. She with. got it. I see her lighting up flames in the chat. Get it, Yvonne. Congrats. Congrats, boss lady. Next. Individual removed now, our following winner. Oh, close call, Jeremy Rogers. Oh. Hey, congratulations, <laughs> boss man. You just stay, keep on doing what you're doing. You're killing it. Get it, get it. Congrats. I know you're still connected and you're definitely plugging in and congrats on the success so far. Cheers for what's to come. Go ahead and shout out in the chat. There you are. 
And real quick, again, Myra, I don't mean to interrupt, but I have to throw this. And and Jeremy, and then also David, correct me if I'm wrong. Jeremy is still a agent or a field trainer. So Jeremy is still an agent because all he got was clients, but he just enrolled an agent yesterday or two days ago. So he's about to hit field trainer, but congratulations, David, go ahead and teach you how to leverage those extra tickets. That's right, man. Congratulations, Jeremy. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. Salute. Definitely congrats. Somebody that's reaching out, just leveraging everyone and blessings up from here to the top. Let's go next final winner. I believe it's three in total. This individual is Saley Alvarez, <laughs> aka Gigi. Definitely so very well deserved. Congratulations, boss lady. I know you stay plugged in, stay committed. You got a whole entire oh, team here man. rooting for you, cheering for you. Congratulations. Wait, wait. I got to say something real quick. I think David Marquez rigged it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, first of all, I didn't have no say so in that. You guys put that in there and did the wheel of names. I'm just over here recording. Okay. This doesn't make any sense to me. It's guys, so look. Congratulations. First place, second place, and third place winner. And I also want to say congratulations to everyone. That was actually part of that contest because we can all agree, even to the ones that got the three <laughs> enrollments, they have a they got a ton of value that's going to take their net their, their business to the next level. Again, thank you so much, Team Relentless, to the leadership. I want to give you guys a round of applause. If it wasn't for you guys, we would not be where we're at today, right? And again, if it wasn't for you guys pouring back, we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing today. So thank you so much. Guys, let's keep leading by example. Jojo, thank you for always working with integrity. I love it. That is one of our core when it comes to our team. It's just working with integrity, respecting each other, just being loyal, being respectful. And that's what's taking us to the next level. Guys, I'll see you tonight. I was about to say, I'll see you tonight, but I'm already seeing you. I was have a good night because it's time to get some rest mm -hmm. because tomorrow morning we have a lot of enrollments to do. It's the tax season. The stimulus checks are coming out. Go out. Anthony Kelly told you the book of knows. It's just they didn't know enough. Go ahead and follow up. Ray's already gave you some examples. When they try to give you that rejection, it's okay. We got you. But again, we're not in a company where we have to sell a product. We're actually offering a service because we don't have to convince someone to fix their credit. Only they know if they want to invest to get that credit fixed because a lot of us, we already have the good credit and a lot of us, we're already making the good money. Guys, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'll see you at the top or front of the top. Have a good night. Good night, guys. Hey, good night, make sure you guys are joining us Tuesday night, Tuesday night, 9 p.m. Congratulations, everybody.